Hello everybody, welcome to the 10th episode of Gosmar. I'm back from a long vacation uh, because I was spending my summer vacation and everything and now I've gotten back to school. This video is being filmed in Estonia. My last video was filmed in California, which is here. But now I have moved to Estonia, which is here. But I'm still filming this video in English because I want all my American friends to be able to understand. Today's topic is parentheses. You might know parentheses from writing, but it's also a term used in math. In it, when you have three different numbers and you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing them separately, then uh, then you have to uh, add, um, subtract, multiply, or divide them from left to right, right? But the parentheses allow you to reverse that. I will now show you how that works. I will now explain the parentheses. So first I will do just a normal equation. 6 plus 3 plus 4. 6 plus 3 is 9. And 9 plus 4 is 13. So 6 plus 3 plus 4 is 13. Then I will do it with sub subtraction. 6 minus 3 minus 4. 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 minus 4 is minus 1, so the answer is minus 1. Then I will do a addition with parentheses. 6 plus 3, which is 9, but I'm going to put the parentheses before the 3 and after the 4 and the plus in between it. So the parentheses means that I have to do these equations first because the parentheses are around them. Then I will add the uh, first number, which doesn't have a parentheses around it. So 3 plus 4 is 7, and 7 plus 6 is 13. But uh, as you might have noticed, the parentheses with the addition doesn't really change anything because it's just doing the same equation except in another order. Now I'll do it with subtraction. 6 minus 3, which would be 3, but I'm going to put the parentheses again. And parentheses are around the 4, and a minus in between that. So, first I will do 3 minus 4, which is minus 1. But there's the 6 doesn't have a minus in front of it, so it's not minus 6. So, and if there's two minuses, they will make a plus. So the end answer is 5, because minus 1 plus 5 plus 6 equals 5. For the so-called hardest equation, I'll be doing one equation without the parentheses and one with it. First, without. 6 divided by 3 times 4. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 4 is 8. So the answer is 8. But now with the parentheses. 6 divided by with it wouldn't be uh, 3 because there's the parentheses in front of it. The parentheses in front of the 4. And uh, no ten. First, you do three times four, which is twelve. Then you do six divided by twelve, which is zero point five, and that is the answer. You have to pay attention because sometimes the parentheses will significantly change the answer. Look, as you can see, eight is the answer here without the parentheses and 0 0.5 is the answer with the parentheses. I hope you follow this rule and become very successful in math. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Be sure to subscribe and like or leave a comment. Goodbye.